folks this is my attempt at making a um, Samsung Gear 360 mount uh, to fit on my Phantom uh, 3 standard drone okay um, I've took all the measurements off the drone uh, straight across from the inside of the legs if you look inside and also if you look inside just inside of the, the legs on the drone you'll see one notch each side so I've measured for that as well um, also there's the aerial mount on the leg which I've allowed for that all these measurements I will put on a piece of paper mark them all out and put them on with the video when I finish this video and I'll show you how this mounts as well uh, there's three dots here you can make them a little bit closer if you wish probably five mil and that's for the ties which you're going to go through and hold it to the platform of the base of the um, standard and also there's a hole in the middle I'm not gonna I don't know I'm tempted to drill a hole in the middle which is dead center um, either to put a mount but I'm thinking I'm having to go at putting a sticky back GoPro mount and I've also bought an adapter so which will fit into the uh, Samsung Gear 360 camera um, I'm going to cut this out in a bit, I'll get back to you when it's finished and I'll file it and get it cleaned up and then we'll fit it later on and show you what it looks like. Okay, Okay. Thanks I've much. just cut this out using a little jigsaw. I'm very lucky I work in a bit of, well, I work in a school where we have um, access to electric jigsaws so it does make it a bit easier. Uh, doing it by hand might be a bit tricky um, but I suppose that's me being lucky anyway so this is almost the finished product um, like I said I will do all the measurements and put this on the this video um, this is just ordinary piece of acrylic um, I don't know what else you can use I suppose you can use <coughs> carbon fiber if you can get hold of it um, uh, it's quite a simple design really like I said that's for the aerial that's a small tiny slot each side of the of the phantom which I've got just a little little ditty sticking out just in the leg uh, and then I'll make these holes a bit closer one two three and that's for the ties to keep this firm into the legs inside okay so I'll let you know when it well I'll show you the video when it's fitted and see what it looks like cheers okay just for curiosity here's some of the measurements total distance across 164 mil width 170 mil that's not right is it no, hold on okay. one second. Okay, so now we get some measurements. So the overall length, 164 mil. The width, 70 mil. Each one of these little corners I've cut out, depth and across here, is 15 mil. And then 15 mil down, 15 mil across, 15 mil down. The distance of this little knot is 33 to 35 mil. So if you look at just the edge here, that's 33. The next bit of the edge is 35, okay? Uh, so that's it so measure from this end down to 33 to 35 and that's your little notch there this is 10 mil by 5 mil that is 15 again 15 again so once you've done that this distance between it doesn't matter because you're going to cut it out anyway okay but I'll put these measurements on on the um, video as well okay Cheers. drilled 5 mil wood bit drill I uh, just found it easy to go through nice and steady no rush and that's the phone I'll get it so I'll show you when it's is fit, yeah. put another piece of the uh, material on the top to strengthen it. Okay. Yeah, you just take that. Using that one. Okay. Yep. Just showing what. You can put this online. Uh, I want a percentage. You want a percentage? Okay. okay. We're at home. Um, as I had said, I was going to show. If I make two modifications on the actual. Um, like the, the panel I've made is this here little notch had to go deeper in because if you look just inside the leg there that notch just there which is here okay it sits back a bit further so you have to make the little notch a little bit deeper and this which I said was only a small cut out five mil this has to be a little bit deeper as well so I took that out a bit more to allow for the aerial which is there okay um, fitting it now because I'm doing this one-handed so you have to put something I'll slide it underneath okay lift him up pop him in 
I just, if I can just hold that like that, you might be able to see it. Sorry, folks. Okay, lift him up. And that's the other side in. Okay, so that's him fitted. It's a bit blurry. That's better. Okay, fits perfect now. Okay. So what I'll do now, I'll take him out and I'll show what else I'm going to do to it. Okay. There's a cat on my leg. Okay. So, I'm now going to flip him over. And I'm going to fit a GoPro. And I'm going to fit it so this thing fits... So the actual, if you look at the uh, uh, one I've got, I'm not going to fit it smack in the middle because it's not going to line up properly. So what I'll do, I'll off-centre it so that the actual the pivot at the top here, which is the screw that goes into the 360 camera, or you can use the mount for your GoPro camera, which I'll be using as well at the same time, needs to go centre, if you can see that. So you'll notice that the GoPro um, stand, or the, the base of the GoPro, which will be there, is slightly off center to the actual. Sorry, just like that a bit more for you, and you'll see what I mean. So, there you go, that should be it's almost central to the base. So, that's the idea. I'm going to stick this onto that. And I shall come back to you in a second okay. once I've done now it. Now, fitted. So, just look, it looks pretty central. Okay, I just guessed it. I'm not that, it is a bit essential, but it's all right. Anyway, um, sorry, watch my hands. So don't forget. You're going to have to cable tie just to be ultra safe. Don't forget to tape. That's where I put the screws, the holes in the side for. Okay, so you need to cable tie these on. Okay, there's two. That's the two holes I put in. So table, uh, cable tie them to the to the legs. Okay, on the outside. Make sure that's safe. And then, if you can just bear with me a second, just put them on the edge. Keep. Sorry about the shaky bit of the camera. Anyway, so on goes the 360. Of course, you're not going to stand it up unless you've got a box. But as you can see, pretty good. And then you can swap it then for your GoPro. So I'm just. There you go. Pretty simple. Um. I did find some, um, what they call it, uh, carbon fibre. I'll put a link on that uh, to show you where, I, where, where you can get it from. This isn't carbon fibre, this is uh, Perspex. Um, and I, like I said, I put the piece on the top to reinforce it. But this is my attempt at making my own platform. If you find it useful, uh, please subscribe if you would. Uh, or thumbs up in the link down below, down there. Um, thanks for watching. I hope you find it really useful. Any comments, please leave. Uh, great. Take care, everyone. Bye.